If you haven't checked it out already, I totally invite you to come on over to my new website, connorandbrittany.com. We both have our joint and individual programs and recipe books there. We have sex education videos. We have updates on events that we're gonna be presenting at around the world, lots of ways you can link up with us, and we have a membership site so you can get behind the scenes content into our daily lives, special discounts, and announcements. There's so much going on over there, we're always adding to it, I'd love to share it with you. What's up beautiful people? Today I'm going to be sharing a response to a question that I get pretty frequently. And I'll read that to you in one second. This question actually came from somebody who watches my Insta story. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I recommend checking out my Instagram profile and you can check out the pictures I post regularly. But then also, Insta story is where you click on the person's profile icon and you can see clips of what they're doing throughout their day and they remain up there for 24 hours. I really love Insta story. I love sharing clips from my day and I've also loved doing questions of the day. So here's one of those questions of the day that I wanted to create a YouTube video out of to expand on it more than I would in an Insta story. The question is, do you come from a family that is open to different types of relationships and lifestyles or is that something that they had to come to accept? I get this question a lot. I notice when a lot of people are making radical changes in their life, they want to feel the support of their family and their loved ones. And sometimes we're growing at a rate that is uncomfortable for other people because it brings up stuff for them. Over the last decade of my life, I've made a number of changes that are just radical for certain people. Downsizing my whole life into a backpack, switching to a fruit-based diet, having totally alternative relationships, traveling the world full time, running my own business, um, you know, not living a traditional or typical life in most ways, pretty much like always. And I will say that my family has been pretty amazing about it. I definitely come from an alternative family. I have a large family, lots of siblings and step siblings and step parents and parents. And I feel like we've always been encouraged by, by everybody, but definitely by like the parents in the family to follow our dreams, to find what we're passionate about and to pursue that. So I've always felt encouraged in that way. I do feel like there are certain things that are specific to my family or different members that are maybe more sensitive to them. For example, food. Food in my family has been really important. It's linked to so many social activities and a lot of people in my family identify with having some sort of what they would refer to as disordered eating. So that means that, or that has meant for me that my changes in diet and body over time have brought up things for them. What's been really helpful for me to keep in mind throughout all this is that everybody is going to have their own experiences and reactions and triggers to what I'm doing or what anybody else in the world is doing based on their life experience and who they are. And it might feel like our lifestyles are triggering them specifically and I think that that is the case like oftentimes we're triggered by an external thing but what that's really reflecting is something that we're feeling like it's our story about something so that's been really helpful for me to remember throughout all this that anything that could possibly come up for somebody else that they're feeling about witnessing my life is it's all like internally happening for them I'm not doing anything wrong it's just, it's bringing up something for them. And I think that's really normal. And things that other people do sometimes bring up stuff for me and it helps me get to know myself better. So I definitely feel like there has been some level of that for every member in my family in relation to at least one of the radical changes I've made in my life. Relationships are another big thing that I've brought up triggers for people in my family. There are a wide array of interesting relationships in my family, none of them quite as radical as mine. 
and I've really seen how different people have felt uncomfortable with their intimate relationships that I choose to have in my life. The biggest thing that I found to be helpful for me has been to share from a place of confidence and comfort within myself. I didn't feel confident about everything I was doing right from the beginning. And sometimes I shared early on and then maybe wished I hadn't, but learned all the same along the way. And now I feel really confident about everything that's going on in my life. I've been doing it long enough that it feels super integrated. I'm sharing it with the whole world, so sharing it with my family is just like another exciting extension of that. But it wasn't something that I just outright started sharing right away. I wasn't like, oh yeah, like I have open relationships and this is what it looks like. I didn't have the language around it. I didn't know how I felt about it. I was still feeling it out. And I think that's going to continue to happen for me and for all of us. As we change and grow, and I think that's a positive thing, we naturally try on different things. And sometimes it takes a little while to figure out how the fit feels for us. And I know for me, during that time of integration, I don't feel like I have the language or vocabulary to express how I'm feeling about the things. I don't even always know quite how I'm feeling about things for some time. So it makes sense to me that we would naturally want to wait until we feel comfortable and integrated before sharing, especially sharing with people that we think this thing might bring up stuff for because that's extra sensitive. So to answer this question, I guess I could say that on some level, I feel like my family's always been super loving and accepting. I feel so grateful for that. And on another, I feel like a lot of the changes I've made have brought up a lot of discomfort for people. And at this point, I feel like it brings up very little discomfort for people in my family. And I think it's because they've become more accustomed to it and I think it's in large part because I've become so accustomed to it because I'm so happy because I'm thriving because what ultimately matters to them is that I'm happy and and loving my life and sharing love with them I also feel like I'm I make a point to be really supportive of the people in my family to support their desires and to just hold space for them when I'm hanging out with them to not suggest that they do anything differently in their lives because I don't want that for them. I want them to feel like, hey, I love you. I got your back no matter what. And I think you're doing a great job. And I really support you in finding your own path. And I think modeling that helps people support us in following and finding our own paths. This is a topic that I feel super passionately about. You might know that because I state in most of my videos, like, don't do it like me, do it like you. And I just think it cannot be emphasized enough. So, thank you. Thank you person who sent me this awesome question for all the people who have sent similar questions over time. Please check out my Insta story if you haven't already and you wanna check out what I'm doing in my daily life or get answers to some of these questions or send me your own questions there. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye.